This is Takeko Nakano, a female samurai. This is her sister Yuko, also a female samurai. Nakano asked her sister to behead her because she didn't want her enemy to have her head and use it as a trophy. And Yuko agreed. So Yuko beheaded Nakano. You want a boss bitch? These two are not who you're looking for. They aren't bitches. They're simply bosses. Brave, strong, dignified, and proud. So brave and so proud that they would rather die in the hands of their own family than allow others to disrespect their bodies. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I would really appreciate it. And of course, share the video if you can. Okay, this is a very interesting story. Let's get to it. Takeko Nakano was the leader of a group of female samurai. Yes, female samurai, also known as Ona Bugeisha. In 1868, a war between the shogunate and Meiji government, which was then supported by the U.S. government, escalated so hard that even after the shogun surrendered, some supporters continued fighting, and that included the region of Aizu. In Aizu, there were some female samurais who were well-trained in martial arts, and this is all because of Nakano. She trained all of them. The problem was that the Japanese officials at that time didn't really allow them to join the army and didn't even recognize them. So Nakano and the other Ona Bogeisha had to fight independently with no support from the government. When the Meiji warriors started taking over Aizu, the female samurais refused to surrender. Some actually decided to just kill themselves, and some fought until their death. Some even killed their own family first. Nakano wasn't down with that though, so she decided to organize high-ranking female samurais to form a defense squad, and it was retroactively called Joshitai. Nakano and her camp decided to attack the Meiji warriors at a bridge called the Yanagi. This bridge is also known as the Bridge of Tears because so many executions actually happened in that bridge. Clearly, it was a suicide mission. But the female samurai fought with everything they've got. Some stories said Nakano fought five to six warriors at a time, and as good as she was, everyone has limits. When she took a serious hit, Yuko rushed to her side, and that's when Nakano asked for what is probably the biggest ask in the history of biggest ask, for her sister to behead her because she did not want her enemies to have her head and use it as a trophy. And while Nakano was a total badass for even asking that, Yuko was even more of a badass because she agreed. Yuko did as Nakano asked, but it took so much of her that she couldn't anymore lead the army of her sister. Eventually, Aizu fell, and it took the era of samurai with it. It was said that Yuko actually survived and escaped to a nearby temple carrying her sister's head. She buried it under a tree. Yuko also gave her sister's naginata to the temple where it remains to this day. A reminder to everyone that while death is inevitable, a surrender is 100% optional. And by the way, Nakano was 21 and Yuko was 16. She is a total badass. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever get to that point where my pride is that strong for me to want my to ask my sister to behead me <laughs> just so my enemies won't have my head um and also kudos to the sister because she agreed because i if i if i were the one in her position i probably would have run away <laughs> i wouldn't be able to do it but they are a different breed for sure all right thank you so much i i hope that you enjoyed that as much as i did 
And um, yeah, if you have any questions, suggestions, clarifications, leave them in the comment section below. And of course, you can always get in touch with me in any of the social media links that you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. We'd really appreciate it. And of course, share the video if you can. Thank you!